The Sherman Antitrust Act promotes competition among businesses by prohibiting unreasonable restraints on trade. In NCAA versus Board of Regents of the University of Oklahoma and University of Georgia Athletic Association, the United States Supreme Court considered whether the NCAA's limit on televised college football games was an unreasonable restraint on trade. Since its inception in 1905, the NCAA has played an important part in regulating college sports. In 1938, the University of Pennsylvania began televising home college football games. That decision, however, was met with some resistance by the NCAA, and in 1950, the NCAA appointed a committee to study the effects that television had on college football. In 1951, the committee delivered a report at the NCAA's annual convention, concluding that televising college football games adversely affected college football attendance and, unless brought under some control, threatened to harm the nation's athletic system. Consequently, the NCAA developed a plan that limited the number of college football games televised per season. In 1981, the NCAA entered into agreements with ABC and CBS, allowing each television network to broadcast 14 college football games per season. Each network agreed to pay a minimum amount to NCAA members and could negotiate with schools regarding televising games. But the NCAA didn't permit schools to negotiate agreements with other networks. In addition to being NCAA members, the universities of Oklahoma and Georgia were members of the College Football Association, or CFA. The CFA claimed that it should have a greater voice in the college football television policy and negotiated a contract with NBC that would allow member schools to televise more games. In response, the NCAA announced that it would take disciplinary action against any CFA member that complied with the CFA-NBC contract. Subsequently, the universities of Oklahoma and Georgia sued the NCAA in the United States District Court for the Western District of Oklahoma under the Sherman Act. Following trial, the court held that the NCAA's college football television policy was a per se violation of the Sherman Act and granted injunctive relief. The NCAA appealed and the Tenth Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.